So normally we use amplifiers. This is an op amp. What we do is we have two inputs, input one, input two. We would prefer to have two outputs, but sometimes op amp is not used like this. Sometimes we just have one output. Well, then if we have only one output, CMRR single-ended makes sense, right? We are not looking both outputs. We are only looking at one single output. Then that's why CMRR single-ended is important because what we care is inputs are differential. What is the signal that is at the numerator and inputs are common gain? What is the signal that is at the denominator? Okay. So this topology actually we are losing half of the gain here. I think in terms of this that I sent you in this chord, when you have differential inputs here, let's call it VD. This is GM over two, okay? VD times GM times VD over two RC. And this is minus GM times VD over two minus minus becomes plus RC. So when you look at the total gain of the this amplifier, differential, differential, output differential becomes divided by input differential. So minus GM VD over 2 times RC minus GM times VD over 2 RC. So this becomes GM VD RC, right? And when you divide by VD, that is the gain, right? GM RC. Though this is differential output. When we take one single output at the output, we are losing how much of the gain? Half of it, right? Because now this is two here, right? So now the gain is, so so the gain is GM times RC over two, okay? So, and instead of this architecture, we are preferring this architecture and it's called active loaded differential amplifier. So what we do is we apply, we connect this base and collector together and whatever the small signal change here that corresponds to small change of current here, this one is current mirror. So this becomes delta i. So this increase delta i reflects here because this is DC constant. So AC wise, this current flows here. This becomes delta i. So we get the total, let's call this, let's say actually delta i over two, delta i over two easier. So the total current becomes delta i. And as you can see here in this architecture, even we, do, we take the output single-ended because this replica delta i change in the delta i is copied here through this current mirror. We actually double the current at this node. So we don't see it over two here at the denominator. And that's why we get two times of gain compared to the other architecture, which means now there is no loss of gain. This shows it a little bit nicer. If you check this, you know, with a current mirror at the load, the signal current produced by Q1, by this one, due to a small change at the input, we have this small delta i. This delta i gets copied here. So, and this delta i goes here. So basically delta i, delta i, we can, we don't really see any loss of signal here. And basically this doesn't, this help us not lose half of the power. This is called active load. So uh, as you can see, this is active load and this is static load. The thing being the same, if we take the output at here, this or this, then this will have two times of gain, right? Because we get this current copied here. So in addition to this current here, we don't have that mechanism. We only have one current, right? So now we have two times of the gain of this circuit. So um, this is called active load, ac active uh, differential amplifier with active load. Uh, and we discussed this in the last class. Uh, uh, so important to know how this works.